On November 29, 2010, NASA announced that they would have a press briefing at which a new astrobiology finding would be described. According to NASA, this new astrobiology finding would impact the search for evidence for extraterrestrial life. This new astrobiology finding was published on December 2nd in a journal article called A Bacterium That Can Grow By Using Arsenic Instead of Phosphorus. This NASA-funded research report describes newly isolated bacterium that can grow while incorporating arsenic into its structure. In particular, the bacteria were shown to have substituted arsenic atoms for some of the phosphorus in their genetic instruction storage molecule, DNA. The first author of the article, Felisa Wolf-Simon, said that her demonstration of arsenic-tolerant bacteria, quote, breaks the unity of biochemistry. Mary Vortek of NASA's astrobiology program suggested that there might be a shadow biosphere of microorganisms on Earth that have long used arsenic as a substitute for phosphorus. The bacterial cells described in this report, called GFAJ-1, were isolated from Mono Lake, California, a lake with relatively high levels of arsenic. Levels of arsenic about 2,000 times higher than what is allowed in drinking water. Arsenic is harmful to humans because it's chemically similar to phosphorus. Phosphorus plays many important roles in the chemistry of living cells. When arsenic substitutes for phosphorus in human and other eukaryotic cells, it poisons them. It is not possible to substitute arsenic for phosphorus in humans, but it's been known for some time that there are many types of bacteria, often called extremophiles, that can survive in many kinds of extreme environments. The newly described GFAJ1 bacteria were isolated from an unusual environmental niche where they may have adapted by natural selection to high arsenic content of the water. After being isolated from the lake water, these bacteria were cultured in the laboratory under artificial conditions of high arsenic and low phosphorus. Unlike human cells exposed to arsenic, the GFAJ1 bacterial cells survived exposure to high amounts of arsenic. However, the GFAJ1 bacteria showed a preference for phosphorus over arsenic. While constructing the molecular structure of their DNA backbone, they preferentially incorporated phosphorus. Under culture conditions that provided 10,000-fold more arsenic than phosphate, isolated and analyzed DNA was found to have 25 times more phosphorus than arsenic, possibly an underestimate of what occurs in the cells. The bacteria are very efficient at using the small amount of available phosphate in preference over the easily available arsenate. In an article published in 2009 called Did Nature Also Choose Arsenic? Wolf Simon discussed the idea that an alternative type of life might exist on Earth as part of a shadow biosphere within, it, within which organisms use arsenic rather than phosphorus. Similarly, life on another planet might prefer arsenic rather than phosphorus. Phosphorus is one of just six elements that constitute more than 0.1% of the total atoms in the human body. Phosphorus is a fairly common element in Earth's crust, but soluble bioavailable phosphate is often a limiting nutrient in many ecological niches. It is conceivable that there might be niches where it would be selective advantage for organisms that could use arsenic as a substitute for phosphorus. The search must continue for organisms that prefer arsenic over phosphorus. The GFAJ1 bacteria described so far are part of the known tree of conventional life and simply seem to be an example of a type of bacterium that can tolerate arsenic and sometimes make use of arsenic when phosphorus is in short supply. How do these earthly arsenic tolerant bacteria impact the search for evidence for extraterrestrial life? At the NASA News Conference on December 2, Wolf Simon said, What I've presented to you today is a microbe doing something different than life as we knew about it. If there's an organism on Earth doing something different, then we've cracked open the door to what's possible for life elsewhere in the universe, and that's profound. Mary Wojtek of NASA said that understanding the range of environments used by life on Earth can, quote, inform us as to how we might search for life and evidence of life in other places in our solar system.